indicator of our production uh, quality. But do you know, um, curious about more details about this test, uh, such as how we do the test, uh, or uh, which are the main tester, test terms of the EMC test? EMC includes EMI and EMS. EMC EMI evaluates the impact of electromagnetic interference signal generated by electrical products on our human body, power grid, or other uh, electric, electrical products that work slowly. Uh, usually, the maintenance terms are conducting the emission test and the radiation emission test. First, I will show you how to do the connected emission test. Connected emission means the experience signal sent us through the signal through the power or interconnecting wires during the connector is working. Generally, uh, there are three types of standards that are optional: the Europe, American, CS standards. Uh, First, I will start the test. Just a few minutes later, we can get the date. But how to judge the result? It's very simple. You can see there are two lines, a blue one and a red one. They are limit level. Another two lines are measured level. Generally, if the measured value doesn't exceed the limit, the result is OK. See the gap of limit and the actual value. Usually, it should not be less than 3 dB or 5 dB. Next, the good blue house is 3 meters long. It's called the high frequency CRD rule, which can block outside the interference signal during our radiation emission test. Let's go inside. Generally, there are two test methods for our radiation emission test. One is the CDN method, another is the antenna test method. Uh, we use the antenna test method in our test lab. Uh, first, uh, we need to connect the test samples uh, with the wires wheel. And then, uh, during the test, the radiation, also called the electromagnetic waves, will travel through the space this antenna. The voltage through this wire at that part of the, uh, the antenna. The amplitude of induced voltage will be used to calculate the field intensity of radiation uh, in the outside uh, brain computer, and uh, we can get the data from that brain computer. In short, it's very necessary to do this EMI test. For example, in hospital, if the lab don't pass the EMI test, the other machines will be affected badly and run only with the wrong test result. Yeah.